Keelan's very observant and he's kind of a harsh critic, I think, a little bit too. Because didn't he ask what's going on with Denny Hamlin? Because we we're all wondering. Oh. Because this was very unusual. Um, I think obviously Denny and his crew chief, Chris Gabehart, two of the best. Yeah. But what what do you think was the methodology behind this? Yeah, what well, whatever it was, it's a complete failure. And when you, when you look at the 11 strategy, it goes totally against everything that they are. Uh, Denny Hamlin is great on the super speedways. He's great at controlling the lanes. Uh, obviously, I, I think they they had some issues in, in qualifying that, that may have led to that strategy. They got no stage points, crashed at the end, and now they're, you know, Only just two a, above the yeah, line. two points a, above the cut line. So we've talked about this before. You cannot race this car scared. Yeah. Uh, to me, yeah. that looked like a scared strategy. Everything about it just looked like a totally scared strategy to, to get up there and, and mix it up. And you have to be able to find that track position at, at some point. Um, you know, I know they had some, some things that they were working on. It sounds like with, with their car and the handling issues, but, um, I, I, I just, I, I can't imagine racing like that. And, and you have to be able to race aggressively with this car and put yourself in position. You're not going to ride around in the back all day and all of a sudden magically create track position. And, and I think, um, you know, not only the, the racing on the racetrack, but the way that the whole charter thing went down. I mean, Denny Hamlin was a week ago, my pick to, to win the championship. And it looked like a, the weekend was a complete train wreck Yeah, for, for everything 11 and, and Denny Hamlin with, with the way that all the other teams went uh, signing the charters, 2311 sitting there, not with their charter signed and, um, you know, the sign on his back at, 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 at media at, day, at media day and, and everything that went with that. It just, it all goes against everything that looks good for racing for a championship. I, I think, yeah, it's it's interesting because I think if you would ask everybody, anybody who your first four locks into right. the next round, the 11 was probably one of them. One of them, yeah. Now, because it's Atlanta, now we were thinking maybe they get into a wreck they, and eventually did, but they got into the wreck because they were back there in the first place, not because they were trying to yeah. run up front. I would never question Chris Gabehart's decision. Like he is like one of the top three crew chiefs in, in the sport, game yeah. right now. I just don't understand why you guys went to a prevent defense where you're trying not to, you're trying not to lose instead of trying to go win. Yeah, they're, and, and they're listen, an team. listening to Denny's interview after the race, mm -hmm. I went back and listened to it. Well, we just thought we needed to score 20 points. 20 points. What in the hell are we doing? Do you think there's more to this story? I don't know. I, you know, and then we have the engine issues, right? Yeah. They have the spark yes. plug wires and 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 we've talked about the the Toyota engine issues that that they've had throughout the year. Now we have a new problem uh, that they had this weekend uh with with the spark plug wires. But man, I, I think that this is um one of the one of the most disappointing weekends I've ever seen out of the eleven mm -hmm. car and and just First round of the playoffs to lay an egg like that, he, it's not good. To his interview, he said, uh, we just needed to try and, and finish 25th or better throughout the play. I don't understand that. I don't like he's, he Like, I don't, 25th? Like, that's not even... That's a low bar that's not, for the yeah, 11 that's a, So then when, if you get there, you just made it through. So you betting the second round you're going to win? Like, you're just going to turn it back on at that point? I don't know. I thought that was a... Well, now you got to get there. Well, yeah, because obviously we expect him to go to the road course and run good. We expect him to go to Bristol and have a chance to win, to win the race. Mm -hmm. But that is not the 11 team that, that I turn the TV on every week to watch, to run around and last. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, those, are, those are the guys that you expect to have that go-for-it strategy and put yourself in position, not calculating points. Let's go back to media day. Yeah. Right? You know, and I, I think Alex having to answer all those questions about, are you in the car? Are you out of the car? And really getting all that out of the way before he got to the racetrack was was good for him. And I feel like it's the exact opposite for the 11. <laughs> yeah. Right? He, and he brought it to himself. Well, he... The 11. He, he has brought it to himself. And, and you know, I think at media day, he wore the sign on his back and, and had everything, um, you know, pointing towards uh, answering all those questions. And then it just totally flipped on him. Totally flipped on him when all those teams signed that, that charter deal and, and everything that he had going on laid an egg on, on the racetrack. And now here he sits and he's not done answering all those questions. There's more now. There's more There's questions now. More. I yeah. mean, you're going to have to answer questions about how you raced. You're going to have to answer questions that you didn't answer last week about your charter. What are you going to do with Bubba Wallace? What are you going to mm -hmm. do with Tyler Reddick? What's going to happen with your charters? Um, you know, the complaining about the charters is over, right? Yeah. Because their position almost, uh, you know, doesn't matter. 
uh, because of the fact that all the other teams signed the charters and everything that 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 has happened. So now it's all kind of flipped on on Denny. You know, he's kind of been that Absolutely. that voice for everything that's been happening with with the charters. And now he's in a position where he's racing for his life to to stay in the in the playoffs where we all thought he was a championship team. And now he's going to have unless they address it and they figure it out, he's going to have to address those problems week after week after week because those those questions aren't going away. He's right. never had a problem with uh, being Denny Hamlin, the race car driver, and Denny Hamlin, the owner. Now, there is a little bit of an issue because the owner is dealing with some things that he's never had to deal with before. And now the driver, maybe the driver's getting hurt by that a little bit because now your brain is kind of split. And it, I don't know. It, it hasn't been a problem now. But since this whole charter deal went down, yeah. it seems like maybe... The, the and and, and I issue. think that the, the other thing is, too, it's the first time I've ever ref heard him refer to a statement like he did. Yeah. Right. You know, about the, about the charters. Yep. Um, and now it, it's just a it's, a... it's a bizarre What do you think is going to... Okay, so yeah. what do you think is going to happen? So what happens to the teams if they don't sign it? Like, I, I mean... Yeah, I think they, they obviously expire when, when, they, when they get to the end of the year. So, you know, I think of... I, I don't know. I don't know enough about the ins and outs of of the strategy yeah. uh, of what they're trying to employ. But I, I just can't imagine that they thought that many teams were going to actually sign no. the charter deals, and and you're going to have two teams that that didn't sign them. I for sure didn't see Front Row not signing. <laughs> yeah. But you know, twenty three eleven. I, I I don't know. I don't. I don't think that they thought everybody was going to sign them. It's, but it sure made them look like the oddball. Is um, it something to do with the two car teams? Because it's both of them are. Well, you got to remember, front row is supposedly going to buy that that third Stuart Haas. And this, um, you know, the the the, the char, third yeah. car for them will mm -hmm. be another charter from Stuart Haas. So, it's all very interesting soap opera at this point. I, I called. It is. Yeah. I, I did make a I did make an inquiry to kind of get some insight. clarity <laughs> and insight to the to the tower to the mothership and there see what was, there. But there's no their their answer is like we're not. Making commenting. any comment oh, about it, so, so you don't I, have didn't, any tea I didn't get us. anything. But just, <laughs> I have no tea. But looking at how this stuff works, like Jim France is the chairman of NASCAR, and I think it's going to end up coming down to his decision on because because now I'm sure 2311 has to somehow get back. Like they missed the deadline, so yeah, you need so it's like kind of like taxes, it's right? Like, you need an extension mean? or something. Yeah, so someone has to grant you that. So this is like a tax extension. Yeah, like, like that. So. It, <laughs> I don't know, man. It's a wild I mean, situation. Bob Pockers wrote a very informative article about this, and he posted it this morning, just talking about some of the the quotes from people at 2311, just being really unhappy with what all the team was getting financially versus, you know, the new TV deal and all these things. So I guess that's the terms they're just not agreeing on. Is that right? Well, I, I don't know what it gets you at this point because everybody else has agreed. And, you know, I think it's it's a very interesting scenario with, with everything that has gone on. Um, you know, I think from from 2311 standpoint, it's you're dealing with a lot of legacy owners, right? Mm -hmm. That have been All here for them. a long time, oh, and, and you have these you have these relationships with Richard Childress and Jim France and Rick Hendrick and Roger Penske and Jack Roush, and and whether you're the ringleader of uh, and representing all these guys, they've all been here a long time, and and in the end, those guys are all going to have conversations, and I and I think they, you know, they're in a position that. I don't think they expected to be in, but they've spent this amazing amount of money to be a part of the sport with their, you know, 20 some, 30 some million dollar, whatever shop airspeed. Right. It's beautiful. It tracks is, all the people. Yeah. Yep. But now, now you got all the questions and you heard Bubba say it, right? I don't know. You know, it, it kind of puts me in a position to where I don't know about my future and it's uneasy. And now it's going to spread through the shop, through the employees Unless they address it and, and say, okay, we're going to sign it or we're going to do this or we're in or we're mm -hmm. out. Um, but they, they have to address that situation or it's going to spread it's going to spread a cancer through their shop like they've never experienced before. You don't and want that. This is like the most inopportune time worst to have a distraction ever. like this, yeah. right? Absolutely worst time ever. It's ever because it's the most stressful time of the year. You have everything that's, that's going on with the playoffs. You, you're going into the first round of the playoffs and, and – well, I mean, for Denny, he had about as bad of a first round as you could possibly have at Atlanta. Now you got to go to Watkins Glen. Oh, by the way, it's all kinds more prep than than what you would prep for a regular oval. And then you got to go to Bristol. Sure, 
Yeah, he could go to Watkins Glen and win. He could go to Bristol and win. But now you have all this chaos around you um, that you didn't have at the same time that you start the most stressful part of the season. So it's not ideal. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.